Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanted to share my updated thoughts on Fenibit. Fenibit is actually technically a drug in Russia and in Australia. So basically to me, that just means that it's very effective. Here in the US, it's kind of viewed as like, kind of like a gray area supplement. A lot of places kind of ban it. Like you're not gonna find it at like GNC and things like that, but it is still legal to sell and all that kind of stuff here. Fenibit for me, it's pretty much worked every single time I've had very bad anxiety. And this is throughout like years of taking it. I don't really enjoy taking Fenibit recreationally. I know some people do. Um, I mean, it does kind of loosen you up for social situations. So I could see that kind of thing, but it's just something I have no desire to take every day. And it's something I use in case of emergencies. Here in the US, um, Fenibit is kind of uh, chemically similar to two kinds of prescriptions. One being Baclofen, which is essentially Fenibit with a chlorine uh, attachment to it. I could go on a whole tangent about, you know, the US pharmaceuticals and how they add chlorine and fluorine to supplements and drugs that they don't need to, in my personal opinion, because you know, if something works without chlorine, I'd rather have it without chlorine. But the doses for Fenibit usually, like the ones that I have here, is from Cosmic Nootropics. And most of the time, they're exactly what you would get in the prescription in Russia or in Australia. You're getting like the actual name brand, like high quality, best mix, like, like pharmaceutical grade in my opinion. That's just been my experience. Really like Cosmic Nootropics. Uh, I'll put a link down below. And then if you use code RealJoshTV, you get an additional 10% off. So. Not a lot, but it's something, you know. Um, and I gotta say, I highly recommend Cosmic Nootropics. Every single thing that I've tried from them has been spot on. Yeah, typically I used to have Fenibit in powder. So I used to take these like scoops of it or I'd take like a little bit, you know, in just like a drink or something. It's very salty if you end up like, you know, eating the, the pill or something. Very salty, very, a little bit weird. But the pills come in 250 milligram dosages. So it's like an average dose for kind of getting into it, it's about 250. And then a high dose is about 500. So that's like pretty on the money. I've taken it a few times since then. Again, it's not really something I take all the time. It's not something I take for recreation. So it's like, I can only really test it when I like needed it or if I feel like I have anxiety. That's really the only time I can test it. I will say I took it about two nights ago. A lot of things going on, getting some weird anxieties. I had way too many stimulants in my body. Normally, I take a lot of stimulants as it is, and I kind of get a little bit of anxiety, like a tiny little bit, but I'm able to manage it, you know? And this at this time I took way, way too much. So I ended up taking uh, 750 milligrams, so three pills. To be honest, I was like kind of waiting for the drowsy effect to ha hit me. And all of a sudden I pretty much was asleep. So I wake up, you know, the next day, probably about eight hours or so. I don't remember the exact time I fell asleep. So then the next day I kind of got up, was feeling a little bit drowsy, and so, I had a bunch of stimulants or like a good amount of stimulants as soon as I woke up and I ended up falling asleep like an hour or two later. Mind you, I probably was in the sun. So that takes a lot out of me as it is too. I do see what people were saying about having some of the rebound effects the next day. Like normally this is probably the strongest I've ever felt it. But then again, I don't usually take Fenibit at this high of a dose and I wouldn't recommend other people to take it at this high of a dose either. I would say like if you're having anxiety, 250, maybe cut the next one in half. So that'd be like 375, you know, that's probably where I would start. Um, Cause I definitely didn't want to take too much after having that experience, after feeling drowsy the next day. And again, it wasn't that bad. I honestly barely noticed it, but looking at the facts that I slept long enough, I woke up, I had like enough stimulants that should have kept me awake and I fell asleep shortly thereafter. So I would probably just watch like, you know, taking a high dosage to avoid that kind of crash the next day if you're taking it for sleep. Before I used to take Finibit like midday usually. And then I felt like that it, it would kind of run its course by the time I woke up the next morning because it does have like a really long half-life. I think it's like maybe nine, 10 hours, something like that. I'll try to put it on screen if I'm wrong. I'm supposed to have some awakening properties too. It's supposed to slightly increase dopamine. And some people have reported that. Some people say that it gives them a slight energy boost. Really not the case for me. Anyways, guys, I highly recommend Finibit if you're somebody who, you know, is going through anxiety or like has anxiety and you want something that's kind of like not as crazy and strong as something like our benzodiazepines that we got here, you know, the Xanax, the Valium. If you want something like kind of in between that and then a normal supplement, I highly recommend Fenibit. I probably should say in this video that a lot of people have like problems with Fenibit. Like, I mean, I could look at my comments and people will get like super mad at me for like not like, like go overly going over the, the negatives of it. And then the fact that it can be um, addictive. And you know, it sounds like if you start taking it for like three weeks to a month, on a pretty regular, pretty regular basis, you're gonna have some problems. So for me, I just don't have the urge to do that. I think the only time I've ever taken it twice, 
was under extreme stress and it actually helped the second day too because like it was a situation that I was in that was just like I couldn't get out of it it was like a family like event far away and it, we had like days chained together and there was like a bunch of things going on just a bunch of stupid stuff so anyways guys highly recommend Fenibit let me know what you think of it down below let me know what your go-to anxiety aids are we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers I couldn't do it without any of you guys hope you guys are the best having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace Thank you.